So here starts our adventure. We're waiting for our lift, making sure we got all our stuff. Final preparations. We're off. This is it, um, day one, eight o'clock. Today is the first day of genuine bona fide trekking. We've packed up all our stuff. Through the gate today, they're gonna weigh off all our bags. Um, we've got about, how many hours of trekking? About six. Six, six odd hours of trekking. Um, packed lunch on the way. Um, we're going to be ascending uh, about 1200 meters. So um, they told us it's the equivalent, roughly, of Ben Nevis. So we'll be climbing uh, Ben Nevis today. Just take for lunch. We've got a sandwich. Sandwich. Oops. Don't know what's in that. Don't know what's in that. Banana. Banana. Little egg. Ah, oh, sweet egg. A bit of chicken. About 200 meters left. Uh, 200, uh, 200 meters left only. I'm going to come across this rather spectacular sight of the cloud. I am. <laughs> All feeling pretty good. The group has split a little bit. There's a, a couple of the guys the, down there, down the road. Yeah. Uh, a couple of crams. Uh, but other than that, it's all right. Arrived. That's my bad. Just day like one it. over. <laughs> are we all? Are we all ecstatic? Yes, we are yeah. ecstatic. Good stuff. We <laughs> mean It's uh, about half past eight or nine o'clock in the evening. Uh, just had our briefing about tomorrow. Um, it's going to be uh, a reasonably short-ish climb, very steep. Uh, it gets really quite cold quite quickly in the evening, um, so it's, it's chilled off quite a bit. Just had dinner. Um, see you soon. Um, it's about 10, 20 in the morning. We've been trekking for about an hour, two hours maybe. Um, we're getting above cloud level. We can see Mount Maru in the distance. Is it? The plan that we've just done has been rather steep, uh, a little bit difficult, but uh, it's difficult, more difficult than yesterday. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to carry on for another couple of hours, then lunch, and then carry on again. Day two, about half past two. This morning was an absolute pig. We ascended about 800 metres in not an awful lot of space. The terrain was pretty rough, but absolutely exhausting. It's had to rain quite heavily. And uh, just made it back to the camp in time, not to get completely soaked, but we've all got our waterproofs on now. Feeling? Cold. A bit cold. Actually. How you doing? Just start 15 Just, minutes to base camp. Yeah. Really? Oh. Really? Oh, mate, I that's, that's phenomenal. Me, no, you do that. <laughs> 
Okay, so this is this is the end of day two. This is the day where we go um, up to about four and a half thousand meters, then come back down to about three thousand meters uh, to acclimatize a little bit. Um, it's absolutely, seriously, seriously cold. Um, I'm absolutely freezing my nuts off. Um, at dinner, we are all up in our wrapped up in our layers, uh, having a having a hot dinner, but it was freezing, freezing cold. Day three, morning. Just had breakfast. Nice views this morning. Down there is basically where we've been. And I'm not sure we'll be able to see it with the sun in the way, but up there is where we're going. Okay, uh, day three, Simon. And uh, we're approaching lunchtime. We're almost at the camp, about half an hour away. We've got some pretty impressive scenery around here. You can kind of see the edge of the summit rising up, and you can't even see the top. So, day three, evening camp, Barranco camp. Tomorrow is the wall. Got some nice views. Thought I'd get some of them recorded before we get attacked by this cloud. I believe this is the wall that we're climbing tomorrow. Thursday, fourth day. Um, didn't get much sleep last night, maybe two hours sleep. It was shaking, not shivering, but just shaking. Um, pretty much above the clouds now. Um, summit's just there. We're pretty close now. But still a lot of kilometres away. It's uh, 8.43. Um, we've just climbed the Branco wall. We're now at the top of the Branco wall. Jumbo! 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 Uh, cloud rolling in, and down there, straight behind us, is the summit. With a pretty impressive view. Not up here. This is Dr. Giles, our, our mountain medic. Would you like to say anything? I'd just like to say you're looking remarkably good, Dave. Thank you. I always look good. <laughs> I always look fantastic. How's, how's the group doing? Doing well, generally. Dave's making it look easy. <laughs> um, but we're all in good shape. Lunchtime at Carafin Camp. Just about to set off to uh, the next camp where we'll start our summit trek from. Day four, quarter past three in the afternoon. Walking for almost a couple of hours after lunch. Just having a little pit stop. It's windy. Oh, man, it's cold. A couple of hours sleep before the big nighttime trip up there. Okay, uh, day four, Barrafu camp. It's a quarter to six in the evening. We arrive. I've got to be honest with you, I'm feeling. Awful. Um, I've got a pounding headache after doing, you've just standing up. I got a pounding headache. On the way up, I felt really nauseous, like I might throw up. Um, hopefully, it will pass with some rest. We about half past ten. Looking to set up, set off to do the summit at midnight. Um, six, seven hours solid trekking, no stops. Freezing cold. It's going to be hard. Right, um, this is still day four, uh, 11 o'clock at night, but technically kind of day five. This, as I say, is it. We are going to make our final push tonight, uh, try and get to the site. I'm feeling a bit better from yesterday. We're going to have some tea uh, in a second, and then basically head off and try and try and do this thing. Feeling okay. Uh, we'll hopefully let you know what's going on later on.
So here we are at about 7 in the morning, 35. It's very emotional, and the scenery is stunning. So, there's the uh, there's the sign, and uh, over here, glaciers. So nice. It's snowing a, uh, a tiny little bit. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, over here, we're basically on the crater. So, down there is the volcano. Oh, it's been extremely hot, yeah. Extremely hot. This morning, I just thought we might not make it. I've been incredibly ill, headaches. I really had to stop. I was violently ill couple of times, but we did it in the end. Like I said, it's very emotional. Now we're down on the bed. We started drinking at 11.30 last night and we made it to the Uhuru Peak at half seven this morning. I was horrific, absolutely horrific way up. Freezing cold. The ground here is frozen. You never see this in any of the other pictures. It's seriously cold up here. Um, we've now been sent back down because we're too blue. Um, there's the glaciers over there. Uh, we've got to go now before we actually die up here. I would like to recommend that the uh, Action Challenge group is a very fantastic group for the, for the summit. It's very rare to find a cap group like this, like 30 people to reach to the top. It's very hard as the weather was very hard. Too much wind, too much snow coming with the wind. And the uh, people was very strong, like lion and a lot of people reached to the top, to the roof of Africa. I appreciate all because I know that it's very hard to find a strong man like this. I appreciate Action Challenge Group. They are a very great group. Thank you.